I got into a fight in a diner once because I like equal and someone else likes stevia. That's not true. How <laughs> weird would that be though? I was like, that Joe, I need like you to bail shit. me out. I got in a fight. Like, where you get drinking? I'm like, no, I got mad because somebody was using stevia in their coffee. And, you know. Was... <laughs> Welcome to Solar Punk Life. We are bringing you another video where we discuss logical fallacy, take a suggestion from one of our YouTube comments, and talk about group thought. Yeah, so the the comment came in from Deranian. Sorry we if I messed that up. We were butchering that. We're going to run it down Just here. The really bottom. not sure how to pronounce that one. Sorry. And the question was, love the focus on fallacies. Thank you very much. Any chance we can get you to tackle the king of all disastrous decision makers, groupthink? So, uh, Jason, what is groupthink? Groupthink is the tendency for everybody within a certain social structure, I guess we'll say social structure, community, to all agree and try to agree for the sake of agreeing with the group. I guess there's a, a prevailing thought and everybody bends to that thought. Yeah. Uh, I actually um, had a class at one point called organizational behavior that I was taking and they covered group think a little bit. And there was also a related concept called group shift, which was around the idea that uh, a certain number of prevailing ideas that were strongly expressed would cause a whole groups, the whole conversation to move in the direction of those strongly held uh, opinions. And so, you know, it's listed here, you know, in the request as a disastrous decision making process. It can be. What kinds of things can result when, when a group gets, let's say, infected by groupthink? Well, you know, and, and we try to stay away from it, but let's look across the world, no matter what kind of democratic uh, governing system is you political parties, all right? Uh, you have people who go to one side or the other, one issue to the other, one group of, of thought or the other, and that's what they congregate around, and that's, that's kind of where they push. Um, I think a lot of what you end up with then is you get groups that are, are entrenched in their ideas and they're not able to view uh, a third option or a fourth option or really, or, or really any other option that would counteract that for either because they're they're so indoctrinated with that thought or because it so goes against what everyone else is thinking that they don't want to be the they don't want to be the different thought they don't want to be uh, they don't want to be made a pariah they don't want to be or rock the boat. Yeah, rock the boat or thought of as different uh, because they, they differ even a little bit from that, that group mentality. People who have strongly held opinions, um, it, is a, it is a difficult thing within a group to change and break out of those strongly held opinions, even if there are individuals that would want to because the inertia of that group think, of, of that group's idea of looking at it, makes it very, very difficult to change that position. Okay, yeah. Um, and that the, the, there are groups that um, structure their entire identity around thinking about topics a certain way, mm -hmm. and anything that questions those topics, even when brought up for members within the group, um, are viewed upon as an attack or as, why would you question this or are not even thought of as being a viable discussion because of the nature of groupthink and um, and to bring up those topics there's uh, um, a lot of energy needs to be expended to bring them up in the first place and since as a result of that groups themselves tend to not get new ideas after a while because everybody knows that's how it's done um, an example of this is the monkeys story. Have you heard about the monkeys? Weren't they like America's answer to the Beatles? <laughs> I mean, well, I, I'm just saying. I you could be Davy <laughs> Jones and all the Peter. Like, well, there's like a thousand Peters and and a drummer or something. I yeah. don't know. I like some of their music, but no. The story it, goes. It wasn't them the story goes, and this is this is just a story as far as I'm aware. That some scientists put some monkeys in a cage with a rope that leads up to some bananas. And there's, so let's say there's four monkeys in the cage. 
Well, the monkeys like bananas, so they go and climb the rope and they go up and try to get the banana. Well, as soon as one of the monkeys goes up the rope to try and get one of the bananas, the scientist sprays these monkeys with soapy water. What the hell kind of story is this? <laughs> well, monkeys don't like being sprayed with soapy water. I don't like being sprayed with soapy water. I mean, unless I'm in the shower, but otherwise... Just stick with me for a second. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Bear with me. So, after a while, none of the monkeys are going for the bananas anymore. Okay? Well, you take out one of the monkeys and you put the, a fresh monkey. And that monkey will go for the bananas. And the other ones will stop them from going. Right? Because they don't want to get sprayed with soapy water. So then eventually you, you swap out all of the monkeys. And every monkey in the cage will stop all, any other monkey from trying to go for the bananas. Even though none of them have been sprayed with soapy water. Because that's the way things have always been around. Okay. I'm, uh... <laughs> you seem unconvinced. I'm not unconvinced. That makes sense. But I just, all these monkeys, man. Well, first of all, where are we getting all these monkeys? Second of all, why are we using them for experiments <laughs> like this? Okay, it's just not cool. It's a, it's a thought experiment just to show, to show what... Uh, right, why are you saying things. all monkeys eat bananas? Are you making a straw man argument? You're... <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. Straw man argument. Um... But no, that's 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 true. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, it's that's the way things have always been around here. And, and it's weird because uh, it's hard to break out of that mentality as an individual. Oh, absolutely. Um, and I, I think maybe that thought is why socially there's a lot of problems in the world. Well, look at uh, because you look at the different ideas that are out there because we're so widespread as a people, we're so different as a people that it we end up butting heads with one another over these things because group thought is is prevalent everywhere. Well, I think and I can see why that is like the king disaster of right, thought right. process. I think it also ties in with tribalism, with you know the idea of, um, hey, I belong to this group of people. I recognize and they have accepted me. And therefore, I'm going to do what I can to try and stay in that group of people because that's where I feel connected. They know that if they leave, they're going to lose all of the contacts, connections, their support structures, all their friends. Any type of group. Sports well, fans. Let's, let's look sports at sports fans. fans. You could do that the same sure. way. You know, um, I'm a fan of the Eagles, right? And then immediately somebody's going to say, what? what the? I'm not a fan of the Eagles. But that's exactly right. Like, I don't really follow sports, but I've seen that kind of dynamic develop where you have like the you know uh, sports team A versus sports team B. In an office setting. We're looking at you, soccer hooligans. Sorry, <laughs> football hooligans. Yeah. Well, let's bring it back to something that we both have direct first-hand experience with, which okay. is live-action role-playing. Jason and I have both been in live-action role-playing groups this various times. This is where you're going to see goofy pictures of us. That's right. We'll put some of them up. Um, for a number of years. I've been doing it for over 20 years. Uh, you've probably done it about the same. About the maybe, same. Maybe longer. We've been in some of the same groups before. We're in the same group now. We have seen... Groups form, cliques form, but you see groups form even within a group what, that have a certain mindset. Cliques. And, and yeah, cliques. Uh, and if you're in a clique and that clique starts doing something that you don't agree with, that clique maybe decides to ostracize somebody else that you are friends with, it can be really hard to stand up to that group and say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm or not going to choose sides. To get out of that mindset altogether um and, and and that's where i guess group thought can go toxic oh yeah and very we're much. very anti-toxicity here uh we, we preach that as much as we can and it's very hard to rid yourself of that toxic element especially when you've held to it for so long um part of my solar punk journey is getting rid of a toxic person that i used to be way back in the day. Um, uh, you know, it, uh, total transparency. I wasn't always the, I, I was a bit of an asshole. Um, and breaking out of that shell and realizing, hey, you know, you're holding on to these things that, that you shouldn't and you're acting how you shouldn't, but you don't necessarily know why. And just stopping and flipping that switch, um, it's hard. I think there's it's also hard. an aspect of groupthink that comes along with the whole fact that, you know, we're, we're two white dudes. So we've both been raised in a society that enables white men to have privileges that other people don't get. And 
uh, it can be difficult for us specifically to remember that that's not the way it should be mm -hmm. and to and to think outside of that box of, of things and when you look at you know when you've got media that's reinforcing that way of thinking when you've got um, governmental structures that reinforce that way of thinking when you've got hiring practices at companies that reinforce that way of thinking um, it becomes an unconscious thought that it becomes then there's inertia to overcome to change that way of thinking to do things like colorblind casting for plays and, and, and voice acting even. Um, actually, I read an article the other day about, um, about blind auditions for symphonies. And they found that blind auditions at first didn't change the uh, rate of hiring uh, men versus women, for example, in symphonies mm -hmm. until they put down carpeting so that you couldn't hear high heels. Interesting. Because there was just a subconscious thought of, oh, this is a female presenting person that is walking in here, and I'm unconsciously biased against hiring a female performer, even though their music is all we're hearing. Uh, that was really strange to me. I guess it, it, that kind of kicks into the whole gatekeeping aspect of stuff, too, where it's like, oh, yeah, you're oh, in yeah. Star Wars? Well, let me ask you a few questions about Star Wars. Prove to me that you love Star Wars. In Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have that that where you want to also, I guess, the protection of that group thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, and That's really it, where gatekeeping comes instead from. Of, instead of saying, hey, you know, I, I kind of like Star Wars, but I've never really had that click. I just use Star Wars as an example. Let people uh, like things. Let people like things and, and, and say, hey, so you're not too into it. Let's hang out and watch the movies or check this out. Let's do that. Instead of, instead of, yeah. instead of the whole, well, then, you know, Blah, 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 you know, Star Wars <laughs> reference here or whatever. What's your favorite character? I, you know, uh, uh, who's, who's, Spock. Your, yeah, yeah, Spock. <laughs> I'm going to put up here that you're a wizard, Harry Gandalf, right? Picture with, with Patrick yeah, Stewart. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's, you know, you, 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 you see that in, in a lot of, and, and lumping it back to our nerd fandoms, you see that in the nerd fandoms where the, the, the Marvel versus DC, you know, uh, which anime yeah. is better, yeah. which artist is better, which, and, and, and people are like, I don't want to, it, it, so it, it, I guess the bottom line we're getting to is group thought affects everything. Yeah. It seeps its way in and it can really mess things up for everybody. Uh, and it's something that happens to people without them thinking about it. That's why it's, it's groupthink, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's all reinforced by the groups that you're in. And a group can be a family, it could be a company, it can be a sports fan, it could be a club, it can be a bar that you go to, it can be whatever. Take the time to look at the groups that you're in. See if there's any entrenched beliefs that you don't agree with, that you want to try to change, and recognize that that's what groupthink is. Really. Um... So thank you to uh, Duranian. Duranian again, we butchered. Sorry, it. you're doing the best. Here. Thank you for that question. We really appreciate it. And, and you know what? That's our two cents on the matter. That's not necessarily oh, yeah. the the. That's not going to be the Wikipedia answer. That's not going to be what other people have to say. It might be. You probably but this is, what, this, wrong. Is, this is one of the things. And and, and again, if if we we botched this or we're not quite there or you, you see something different, this is the whole point of this particular fallacy. It's all about us learning. Reach out, comment, um, talk to us about it in the comments. Uh, hit us up on the social media groups. Um, give us your two cents. Even if you agree with us, give us your two cents. Uh, we, this is one where we really need to, we need to make sure that we're not putting ourselves in that box too. So, Absolutely. you know, uh, comment, let us know. Don't forget um, to like and subscribe. And like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can always get told uh, when our new episodes come out. There we go. I think we've wrapped this one up. And uh, <laughs> the only thing left that I can say is do good. And be good. Thanks for watching. All right. You get to drink from the fire hose. <laughs> you said it worked once. <laughs> <laughs> Had someone called her like I, I saw the floor laughing because no one else ever references UHS. <laughs> I'm like, well, welcome to the team, right? <laughs>